So hi everyone, my name is Ricky, and this is my colleague, uh, his name is Vijay Krishna. He is the product manager for Zia, super smart guy. He's going to walk you through how to use the Zia Skills Console. So we're going to present together, so I'll, I'll begin. So, um, so this session is focused on chatbots, which are pretty kind of big buzzword right now. So um, you've probably, when I say chatbot, you're probably thinking like Siri or Alexa or Google Assistant. Um, more recently, I have the Bank of America app. I discovered Erica from Bank of America, who will help you transfer money between accounts so you don't have to click through the app at all. Um, I saw that Casper, the, the mattress company, released a bot called Insomnobot 3000, which uh, is a bot that keeps you company if you can't sleep. You can, you can talk to Insomnobot 3000 right through your phone about weekend plans and uh, what you're watching on Netflix. Um, you can order food. It's, it's a pretty cool thing. So these things are becoming a part of our life. And in this generation, you're, the kids are growing up with virtual assistants and chatbots. It's a pretty crazy thing. That's normal for them. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers on AOL Instant Messenger, the first bot I ever met was Smarter Child. Does anyone remember Smarter Child? I'm a lot older than I look, so I do remember Smarter Child. I was actually in, in high school. Um, I used to mess with Smart Child all the time. So we've come a long way uh, from there. So look at statistically, um, in the, on the marketing side of the business, you know, AI is a, is a big technology. We're leveraging it for predictive analytics. We're using it for contextual, personalized messaging. Um, but the biggest growth for marketing technology is with chatbots, and the same in, on the commerce side. Uh, the growth is crazy. Um, in 2016, about 5% of businesses were using chatbots for uh, business-to-customer interactions. We're hitting about 30% right now. So 30% of the businesses you interact with, the first thing you're talking to is a bot on the website. Um, by 2020, Gartner's predicting 85% of interactions will be through a chatbot, which is insane. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, but 40% of businesses are in pilot programs on top of that right now. So we are definitely moving towards that path. So we'll start with the, the big picture. You've seen the word for Zia. Zia is the entire AI suite that Zoho has leveraged across multiple Zoho products. So it's, it's more than just the chatbot. It's more than the predictive uh, analytics that you see inside um, um, Zoho CRM. It's more than the email sentiment you see in, in Zoho Desk. It's also a grammar check inside Zoho Writer. It's uh, telling you what to do with all your tables in Zoho Sheet and giving you charts that you should want to build if you're not experienced with, with a spreadsheet. In, in Zoho Analytics, in, if you're not familiar with kind of joining all the tables together, it's, you can just type it in English and it converts into a SQL statement and brings you a report uh, in a few seconds. So we're leveraging this AI technology across multiple apps. Um, we're going to focus on a subset of AI technology, which is the conversational side, right? Conversational skills, which is the ones that we interact with the most on a more of a personal side. So this uh, interface um, is that we're going to show today is called the Zobot, um, and it's built using the Zia skills. And so the Zobot allows you to add custom skills. So if you have something like an uh, Amazon Echo with Alexa at home, you know you can add skills for certain things like changing the temperature on your Nest thermostat is a skill that you would add onto Alexa. So they've opened their platform up to add custom skills. We're opening our platform up for you to add custom skills that are relevant uh, to your business. So I mentioned uh, some of these already. So in a Zoho Notebook, if you're using Zoho Notebook, if you're grabbing recipes or uh, flight plans, um, Zia is automatically turning that to an easy-to-read note card for you and then sending a reminder that you have a flight coming up. So we're leveraging in Zoho Notebook um, also to help you organize your notes. So if you have a bunch of notebooks already created and you write a, a specific note, it will suggest to you that you should put it in this particular notebook because it matches some of the same subject material and content. Um, Sales IQ is what we'll, we'll focus on today. Um, some of the other apps, uh, it's coming in, in Zoho Projects. Um, the SDP is, a, is a one of our managed engine apps, Service Desk Plus. We're adding Zia uh, technology there as well, and many, many more Zoho products throughout this year. So what do Zia bots or, or chat bots, are, what are they able to do? 
So it's three categories. You can ask general questions, and I'll give you some examples of those. You can ask personalized questions, and then you can also ask it to perform an operation. So what does it mean by a general question? So if a customer is on your, on your website, they're asking, like, what, what products do you sell, right? And it's able to uh, just answer uh, with a list of all the products that are available on the website. Um, you know, some of us who always ask for a discount everywhere we go, you can ask the bot, are there any discounts available? It can give you a promo code or a coupon. Um, policies, FAQs that you can't find on the website, you're just not bothered to dig through all the material. What is your return policy? And it's right there uh, and, and giving you that information. So those are pretty easy, easy questions there. Let's take it to the next level. Uh, personalized questions. So this is something like I mentioned the, uh, the Bank of America bot can do, right? What's in my account? What is my balance? Um, what do I have in my cart? Imagine you're on a website and you're doing some online shopping. You've added a bunch of stuff to your cart. You don't want to bounce back into the cart and leave the page that you're on. So the bot's there conveniently in the corner, and it will tell you what's, what's currently in your cart. You can remove. You can add things. Um, if you are, you know, all of us order stuff online. If you want to check the status of your order, you're not going to the order status page and then, you know, digging through how to find that information. You chat to, chat to the bot, put the order number in, and you can get that information right from the main page. So it makes our life a lot more convenient. And those are things that probably all of us um, would find really convenient if we had a chat bot. You know, and, and generally, that's the, that's the feedback that we're getting from, from people is that um, even if you are aware you are talking to a bot, most people trust it anyway and don't really care that they're talking to a bot. And they're, they're trusting it to a point where performing operations is, is not a big deal. Like You really don't need to talk to a human. And, it doesn't matter if it's a bot. Like people don't seem to care. So this is why you need to start adding this into into your business because it's a good way for you to make sure you don't lose any of your customers. It gives your gives you a chance to keep your business open 24 hours a day, right? You don't have to have people on chat. You don't have to have people on the phone. You're just always open because the bot is answering all these questions for these customers. And because it's so easy and the responses are quick you're going to get more leads, and it's going to add more value to people interacting with your company. So if we take it to the, the third step now, performing an actual operation, um, a customer can go to your website and just book an appointment. So they're not having to fill out a form. They're just chatting with a bot. The bot will collect all the information that's relevant to that appointment and book the appointment, send them an email and the notification, and, and that's it. Simple as that. Uh, you can place orders through a bot. You don't have to navigate through the online store and find the item. You know exactly what you're looking for add into the bot, and it's, it can place the order for you right there. And then you can even do things like transfer a certain amount of money between people or add money to an account. So we're going to show you a few examples. Um, the first example is, is two things. We're going to show you how you can use the, uh, the bot as a CRM user, as a salesperson, if your manager comes to holler at you at your desk and is like, how many accounts have you closed, or what are the top accounts that we have this quarter, and they're not bothered to run the report. As a sales rep, I could just type it into the bot, and the bot will give you my question. I'll sound real smart. The boss will think I'm on top of my game all the time, and we have a good day. Um, the other use case is if you're in a call center and you're collecting data on the phone um, from a customer, and I'm going to show you how you can use the bot to make that journey really, really easy for the sales rep instead of clicking around all over in their CRM or whatever form they're trying to fill out. Okay. So let's navigate over to Zoho CRM. Okay. So our, our bot is down here on the very bottom right. You've already seen this Ask Zia button. Um, so I can pop that open. And so the first scenario, my boss is asking me, what are my accounts? So a simple statement, top five accounts. And Zia is going to look through my CRM data and pulls up those accounts for me, right? So I just save myself the hassle of going to the dashboard, going to the reports, or if my life is a mess, digging through all my emails, grabbing a calculator, and trying to count what's, what's going on with my sales. Hopefully none of you are in that situation, and you've got some good CRM training today. All right, scenario number two. I am in a call center, and um, customers are calling me. I don't have, you know, I have my hands tied up or something like that, or I'm just really busy, or getting a lot of calls in not having time to go all over the CRM. So I'm just going to talk to my bot. And our business here, we do some, uh, 
we're kind of like a service-based business. We do car wash, we do haircuts, we do cleaning, we do all sorts of weird things. Um, but that's that's the kind of business that we, we've set up here. So a uh, customer calls in to book a kind of a personalized car wash. So I'm a, a call center agent, and I don't really have good CRM training. I don't really know where to go. It's my second day on the job, but I know there's a really helpful bot here. So I'm going to say book a car wash appointment, hit enter, and the bot is going to collect uh, parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a name. I am using my wife's name here. And there it goes. And then ask for the mobile number. So what it's doing is collecting all the data that I need to add a, uh, data into this module. So let's go ahead and put in a phone number and the service location. So remember, this is natural language processing at work. So I can just type in any geolocation um, right here. And I just put Austin and date of service. So again. I don't have to put April 11, 2019 here. I can simply just type in tomorrow or next week. And it's able to turn that into a date for me. And it's done. OK? So now, in the service appointments, we have created a new record. right? And we see the service type car wash, location Austin. We got the name, the date. It even pulls it into a card here, which if I want to uh, open up, I can actually open it up and uh, get all the details. So that is the bot um, on the CRM side of things. So we're going to take it one step further and show you how to build skills like this for your own company. So Zobot is a feature in, inside uh, Product Sales IQ. Um, and inside the Zobot, Vijay is going to lead you through how you can add Zia skills. Once you configure your skill, you map it to the Zobot. And then we'll see the Zobot in action on the website. So Vijay, go ahead and come up here. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. So I'm pretty much going to take you all into how how do we actually build these things, the, the ones that you saw here. So Zia Skills Console is a developer platform. As you can see, it is NLU as a service platform. So by NLU, I mean it is natural language understanding as a service. This is a developer platform wherein any developer can come and build custom chatbots, add abilities to the chatbots, make bots reply to users' messages as per their use case. So this is not a simple uh, running engine that gives you hooks. This has intelligence over it. It has a native intelligence, and it lets you build over it. So you have Zoho's, Zia's native intelligence, and you get to build on top of it. So you get an opportunity to harness Zia's native intelligence ability over it. So you get you get something out of the box, and you can build on top of it as requirement fits into you. So that's about it. And how does this whole thing works? Is uh, this is the pretty much the workflow of Zia bot? So it gets a user input. So someone who types into the chatbot, it receives the message, and then it pretty much communicates with the NLU layer behind it to understand what the user actually says. Uh, we call that intent parsing in NLU. So you find the intention of the user input, what, what the user is trying to say in this case. The user is trying to book an appointment. So understanding that from the input. And the other thing is entity extraction. So as you would have seen, he typed in, he wanted to book an appointment for car wash. So, and the bot is able to understand that he is not trying to book an appointment for gardening or home cleaning or something. He's trying to book an appointment for a car wash. It specifically extracted the information from the sentence, actually. So the Zia bot can understand your intention of the user input and look for possible data into that uh, user input and make that as an actionable output, actually. So that that's one. And you know what are all the uh, data required to fulfill an action? So in this case, you you need a preferred date for the service. You need a, you need location for the service. And Zia understands that those data are not present in the first sentence. So it starts prompting to the user, who is the customer, what is the date, uh, where is the service location, et cetera. So this bot can be configured. So this is a custom-made bot for this use case. Likewise, this bot can be configured to any custom requirement as required, actually. So pretty much it also it does uh, data type validation of the user input. Say if you are looking to get a service date, it is not going to let you in without you giving a date. So if it is asking for a date, you 
should give a date in the input. So that is automatically taken care of by the Zia bot itself. So uh, by all these, I mean these are all the native intelligence of Zia, and you are building on top of it. So that's it. so. Let's see how to add abilities to a bot. Actually, so uh, by ability we mean uh, a conversational ability. In this case, scheduling an appointment. So there are three parts in defining uh, an ability. So we call an ability an action of the bot. So there are three parts in defining it. So the first part is what to look for. So what is the input that the user may give to trigger this ability, actually. So that is what we call a sample sentences. The other one is what to get for, what, what to get from the user. So what are all the data to look for? That is what we call as parameters. So in this case, the service location, service date, those are all the parameters, actually. And then what to do with it. So in this case, it has to create a record inside CRM. So it has to get all the information and hit CRM's API to create a record. So defining an ability to the ball involves defining what to expect for, what to get, and what to do with the sentences. So uh, I'm just going to walk through what each and every one is. So here, your sample sentences are those you define example invocations for the bot. In this case, we have defined as a scheduling an appointment. So, so pretty much how the user would say in a natural language how to schedule an appointment. So it may be like schedule an appointment, I want to book an appointment, book an appointment, each and everything like this. So this pretty much forms the intent model of Zia's intelligence. So you want an ability to be added on it, you have to define sample sentences, and Zia's intent parsing depends on defining all these sample sentences, actually. Taking deep when I actually build the bot, when I actually show the console, right? So params are the data that are required to fulfill this ability, and uh, these are all the pretty much the data types supported in params. So uh, these form the entity model of Zia's intelligence. So as we see, sample sentences form the intent parsing model, and this forms the entity recognition model. So function. So once an action is identified through sample sentences, and we get the unfilled params through subsequent conversations, uh, the what to do part is defined in function and in execution function actually. So you basically collect all the information and hit CRM API. You write that logic in here in the execution function. So I'm just going to take you to the UI. So this is my sales IQ bot that we have configured for this demo. So I have used Zia as a backend for this bot, and I'm just going to access Zia console from that. So this sales IQ bot is mapped with this Zia console's skill. That is pretty much on it. So this is the uh, action that we have defined for this bot. As you can see, this bot can book an appointment for uh, that particular customer portal company, actually. So the one who is requesting for an appointment booking. So I'm just going to walk through how did I create this action. So uh, I just gave a meaningful name and chose performing an operation because this is going to create a record inside CRM. It's not going to fetch you some data. It's going to put some data into the system. And then, so these two sections form the uh, data model for Zia's intelligence, as I said. So these give the sample sentences. You define how the user can invoke uh, uh, invoke this particular action to the bot. So what this bot should look for in user input to, to, to understand that this is the particular action that the user is trying to invoke. So in this case, I would naturally say, I want to book a car wash. I want to book a car wash on Monday. If you could see, there are uh, parts of it marked in blue. So by them, when you converse in a natural language, you can give entities as a part of your sentence. So those are all the entities. So in this case, I want to book a car wash. Car wash is an entity, and that entity is labeled as service, the, ty the type of service that you want. And Monday is marked as the visit date, the, the date when you want it. So this is how you define the sample sentences. And the parameters are defined right here. So in this case, I'm just going to walk through to the visit date parameter. So I just created a param for this and declared the data type as date. So because so Zia knows that to expect only date time inputs from the user for this. And pretty much this takes into it. And we also have array types param. By array, we means that uh, any input that can have only a finite set of values. Say, for example, your deal stages or days of the week that can only have 
a finite set of values where you opt in the user to choose only one or more than one program. Once you give all these, Zia knows that when it prompts for an input, it would look only for that data type actually. So that's the purpose of declaring data types here. So once I define my sentences and parameters, pretty much done, and I go ahead and define what to do when, when the user is actually invoking this function. So here, uh, this function is a deluge function. I hope most of you are familiar with deluge. Uh, so we get all the inputs from the user and we pass on those parameters as function input arguments here. So you see, as we have declared, we get visit date, we get location, we get mobile. So we get every parameter that is de declared in the previous uh, screen as a function argument here. And Zia automatically converts the conversational input into the app value of that data type. So if, for example, if your customer says, uh, if you have declared a date param and someone just comes out and say, I want to book an appointment tomorrow, uh, Zia converts this val uh, this string tomorrow to a valid date as uh, April 11, 2019. So you get the actual programmable values here and you need not do any logic on strings actually. So that's the power of it. So I'm just going to walk through to the logic here. So we are pretty much not doing anything here. We are just getting all the values and we are just hitting CRM APIs here. We are just creating a record just inside CRM and we are just giving a meaningful reply to the user, that's it. So that's pretty much about it. We are not doing anything here. We are just defining a sentence and giving the parameters and writing the logic of the code to what to do into it. So I'm just going to demo you this bot, same thing he did. So I'm just going to say book an appointment. So it's since in the last example, so Ricky said I want to book an appointment for car wash and now I'm just saying I want to book an appointment and it, it is identifying that I have not mentioned the service type and that's why it's prompting me here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say car wash. And then I'm just going to give, I'll give my mom's name since I'm single yet still. So as you can pretty much see, it just took uh, this much effort to create a chatbot with this uh, this much abilities actually. So you just went ahead, configured a few sentences, configured the required inputs and mapped them with app data type and just wrote the same deluge logic that you would write for anything else. And there is no special logic in here. You're just writing, getting all the inputs, hitting CRM API and giving it a result and giving a meaningful output. So, this is pretty much of it. And now, so here we go, here I find the record created by them. So now, uh, bots are not always straightforward like this. They do have custom logics like, what if uh, I'm trying to schedule an appointment, but my company is on leave that day? But if I have a li live agent chatting with me, he can say that we are not working today. But what if uh, we want to implement that with the bot? And that's why we wanted to support custom validation of user input, not just the default data type validations. We want to have some custom logics as per the user's requirement to add, add validations in this case. And that's why we have the context handler function in addition to the uh, execution function. So the context handler function is a hook in Zia that is executed for every user input. So you pretty much control the entire conversation uh, by yourself. So I'm just going to uh, show you how we modify this, uh, uh, the same bot. We are not doing anything with the sentences or the parameters. We're just going to change, I'm not going to change anything in the execution logic. I'm just going to open up this context handler function. So this function gets called for every user input and you write some logic here. So the logic I have written is I get a date. So, and I validate this date if it is uh, a Saturday or a Sunday. So if it is a Saturday or Sunday, I give a message to the user that we don't work on weekends and you will have to book an appointment for some other day. 
So that's that's pretty much it. This is all code I have written actually. So you get the you get all the parameters as an all the params as an input argument to this function as well. So if you want to have any sort of custom validations like it, like if I want to check the contacts name if it is present in my CRM or not, you can very well do it. You can hit CRM API here. You can get all the records with that same name and find if the record is present in CRM or not. So it's like pretty much any validation that you can do. I'm just going to uh, demo the same bot now in the actual website. Let's assume this is a the actual website wherein a user can book an appointment through the chat. So one thing that Ricky showed you about is you as a sales rep can converse on your data. You can get insights from your data in your CRM and you can add data into your CRM. Uh, what am I about to show you is what if anyone can add data to your CRM? So you have a requirement wherein anyone can book an appointment. Why, why to waste a call center investment on it to uh, just to book an appointment. So we are just making the same skill what Ricky showed inside CRM and exposing it in your website wherein anyone can come and chat with your own authentication. So that's how we do it. So I'm just starting with it. Car wash. So I'm just going to go and say Sunday in this case. And he is going to tell me we don't work on weekends and you are to book on some other day. So I'm just going to give another day. So probably next Monday, I'm going to say. So now, as you can see, Zia understands next Monday. It, it doesn't take this Monday. It takes next Monday from the conversation. And it is giving the message as 15th April 2019. So when we get back to CRM, we can see the actual record created in there. Uh, yeah, so you get scheduled for April 15. So since I said it is next Monday, it is giving me the actual date. So that's into it. So that's how you create a custom chatbot and embed it into your website and give it all your visitors to, to uh, automate the process of call center into your business, actually. So uh, this, we still provide an option to contact to your human if in case, uh, if you want to hand off to a human, but you know, who would want to talk to a primitive human? You know, <laughs> you know I'm just kidding, yeah. So over to you, Ricky, again. Okay. Oh. All right, thanks, Vijay. So as you saw a few minutes ago, I worked in a call center talking to a bot, and then Vijay replaced me, and I was fired because I am replaced with a robot. So thanks, Vijay. All right, so as you saw in this, in this demo, uh, Zia is able to understand natural language, like next Tuesday or uh, um, tomorrow, something like that. Um, you saw how simple it was. Um, we've done a lot of the back-end work for you, right? You're just building the context handler and the function. Pretty low on the technical side of things, and we were going to maintain the infrastructure for your chatbot, so serverless. Um, and as we expand on this, the, the Zia skill that we used inside the Zobot, you can then take that Zia skill and apply it to third-party applications, and we'll also be providing front-end SDKs. Thank you.